The CCSA volleyball team completed a successful season last week. Details coming up. Good morning. This is Ethan Peter with the CCLS Morning News. Last weekend, the A1 girls volleyball team participated in the El Sam State Tournament. This followed a very successful regular season in which the Chargers went undefeated in league play among large schools and lost in the city championship to Emmanuel St. Charles in a very tight match. The festivities at State began on Friday night with the worship service, a parade of teams, and the serving contest. Also, every year all the teams participate in a version of American Idol doing a dance performance. The girls finished second overall with a great performance. The volleyball started Saturday with pool play in the morning and afternoon. The Chargers played well in the morning, going 5-1. and one. However, things got tough in the afternoon as they struggled to a 2-4 and four finish in the second round of games. The situation was a little difficult because they were forced to play almost all of pool play without Mackenzie Arnold who was gone at an important soccer game. Luckily, they won a tiebreaker to still play second in their pool and advanced to the gold bracket. On Saturday evening, with Mackenzie back in uniform and back at full strength, they exacted a measure of revenge from city playoffs by beating Emmanuel St. Charles to qualify for the Final Four. On Sunday, playing for a chance to go to the state championship game for the fifth year in a row, the Chargers were a bit off their usual game. They fell to Zion 2-0, and Zion went on to win the championship. However, it was a great season in which the girls carried on what has become a very strong tradition of great volleyball teams at CCLS. Olivia Bear caught up with 8th grader Abby Schultz to talk about the season. I'm here with Abby. Abby, what were some of the goals that the team set at the beginning of the year? Uh, early on this season, we weren't too sure how we were going to be because we had a lot of young players coming in because we didn't have that many 8th graders. But by the end of the season, we were a great team, and we were able to accomplish a lot. That's great. What emotions were going through your mind after you beat Emmanuel in the first round of the bracket play? Uh, it was a really great game. Um, it felt amazing to beat the number one team in the city, and we were so happy and couldn't wait to play the next day. That sounds fun. Back to you, Ethan. The volleyball team was coached by Mr. Adler. Olivia Bear also caught up with him to talk about the team's season. I'm here with Mr. Adler. Mr. Adler, how do you feel the team improved as the season went along? Well, we had a number of uh, younger players and some girls who haven't played a lot of volleyball um, previous to this year. So a lot of the improvement in the beginning of the season um, was just working on some fundamental skills. Um, but as the season wore on, too, we worked on um, our team defense. And so seeing that improvement was uh, definitely uh, um, a big reason for our success. That's cool. What were some of the highlights during the season? Well, I would say that uh, beating all of our league rivals um, during um, the regular season, uh, Green Park, Emmanuel, and Zion, um, which gave us the number one seed going into city playoffs. So that was um, fun watching us become that team that was um, going into city, the number one team um, in the playoffs. Um, and then also I would say um, at the state tournament, uh, beating Emmanuel again to get into the final four on Sunday um, and to have a chance to win a state championship, um, that was pretty exciting. And so even though we fell a little bit short, it wasn't quite our day that day, i um, very proud of this team and how they improved and for all the work that they put in. That's fun. Back to you, Ethan. Congratulations once again to the A1 volleyball team. This has been Ethan Peter with the CCLS Morning News. Have a great day.